Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Julianne Hoare, the bearded bombshell of the Edinburgh drag scene. We're doing our next look in our spooky season of content. I have a very, very exciting piece that I, am, I was very much inspired by to create this new look. And it is this here. Beautiful headpiece created by an artist called D-Bill. Um, I came across them on Instagram um, and I fell in love with their work and this is just it is absolutely beautiful. I'll put their details in the description down below. Please make sure to go give them a follow because that's their main Instagram account. They're moved by Instagram for God knows what reason. Um, so make sure to go give them a follow and absolutely deserve and create again yeah, such wonderful headpieces and um, brilliant artists. They actually have some pieces still available on the Etsy, so I'll put a link to that as well um, if you're interested. Um, probably one of the most exciting pieces in my collection of drag now, given the structure, the shape, just the whole look and everything. Kind of inspired to do maybe like a ghostly, bright, widow kind of look with this, so let's get on into it. Alright, so we're actually starting off with the base already done with the highlight. The difference is I didn't do a contour because I wanted to stay as pale, kind of going with a ghostly kind of idea here. And instead of going in with uh, my browns, um, I want to kind of really go in all in this bloody idea. So my contour is done with the red from my Give Face Cosmetics construction palette. I didn't get these quite even, so I actually had to do the side a bit up more again on my left because uh, it wasn't quite even. I wasn't quite happy with it, but got there eventually. And of course, cutting that with the white from my Krylon TV paint sticks. Honestly, I don't know what I would do without those. They are a lifesaver. And then for the nose contour, I did initially go in with brown with my It's Makeup Revolution Roxaurus palette. Um, just doing my usual nose contour. But then again, I just decided it uh, wasn't quite right for the look. Um, so I go over the top of that again, just with my red from the Give Face Cosmetics. Honestly, that red, <laughs> up there, just go in up basically the entire look with that red. Uh, from the eyes, to the nose, the cheeks, everything is uh, done with that red pretty much. And then of course carve that out with the, again, white from the TV Paint 6. Now I take the red and I'm not doing brows for this look because I also have a wig to go with the headpiece so I decided I'll go big with the uh, eyeshadow on this instead with um, no brows. So I decided to continue up from the nose contour up with the eyeshadow and um, with again the red from the cosmetic uh, with the red from the construction palette and then to deepen that up I actually take the purple uh, to just make it really darker give it more tones and then go over again with the red and blend that out further uh, just so there's also a bit of a difference otherwise it's just the same red through the cheeks the nose the eyes it needs to have some differentiation from the other colors so yeah using the purple helps deepen that up and then popping just the red back on top just to make it as bright as possible you can see I'm going over quite a bit there and um, building up the colour uh, looks phenomenal in the end. And then I of course cut the crease here with the white from my Krylon TV paint stick again. And just going in with the eyeliner as well. It didn't go too exciting, I kind of wanted the focus to be on the red here um, from the eyeshadow. So the eyes, the eyeliner kind of want to be as small as possible. Going in with my uh, gel liner using a dried out uh, eyeliner pen. Because I don't like pens, I feel they just drag on my eyes a bit too much when it's um, trying to get the liquid out of it. Whereas if you're using the gel liner, I'm just going to sit on top and you can uh, move it around with the brush instead, uh, which I think helps me when I'm just doing my eyes. And you can still get the points quite easily on the inside and the outer wing. And then for the crease, I decided it wasn't bright enough, so I go in with the white from my James Charles palette, just to really brighten that up, whereas the white in my Give Face Cosmetics is a shimmer shade, so I didn't really want to use that at first. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to kind of look as pale as possible, and that white just really made that crease pop. I'd say then is also just blend it in from the outer wing in with the red so kind of just taking the excess that's already on the brush and then blending it in with the white and it creates a nice little tone going through the eye to a more pinky shade and um, just make the eye a bit more finished 
I was very happy with that final look there when it got there in the end. Taking again just the red a little bit more just to deepen up the outer wing there as we kind of blend it through and then taking the red down and the black down as well just to create that cat eye that I normally do, very typical for me. Again the focus was meant to be on the red so trying to keep the black as minimal as possible. So I took the red all the way into the nose contour and I decided to do uh, bloody tears coming down from my eyes. So I take my Gift Face Cosmetics red uh, pencil liners um, and kind of start sketching those out first which I then go in over with the red eyeshadow just to give a bit more definition. Um, this was just obviously a preliminary sketching of where I wanted them. Um, again, uh, if you want 10% off on the Gift Face Cosmetics website, make sure to use code Julianne for 10% off on everything on their website. They've got some craft products from the collection that they couldn't launch unfortunately due to COVID and their manufacturer uh, going bust. So give them a check out. They've also got some great wigs on Give Head um, as well and you get 10% off basically everything on the website. So make sure to give them a check um, and use code Julianne for 10% off really going in with the details here so kind of trying to make it look as if it is dripping off the eyes and then I decided to go in with my silver um, be a hair wax uh, to colour my beard white um, it's actually silver so um, it doesn't go white white there's a white option but I don't have that so what I decided to do is I go in with my silver and then I go in with my white setting powder and um, just kind of brighten it up as much as possible um, as you can see I'm doing here now and that definitely makes a difference. And, and then I use the red color from Makeup Revolution, I believe. Um, and yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful red, but uh, we just uh, it's one of the ones I earned a caution of using because it was very, very wet for a long time. And then uh, for some finishing touches, of course, I'll put on some highlighter and lashes. But what I first did is put on some little stones at the end of the tears and um, just to make them stand out a little bit more and give them a bit more dimension and a little bit of sheen depending on how the light hits so yeah thought it was fantastic look really happy with the end result and so now let us go on ahead and jump into the final look the bloody transformation. I'm so proud of this look. I think it turned out phenomenal. Especially this headpiece looks amazing with this wig that I styled. Pop some uh, red extension in this hard front wig just to kind of blend it all in together and I really think it makes a look. Make sure again to check out Tavilla on Instagram. Go check on their Etsy as well. I believe they have some beautiful pieces left over as well. Let me know what looks you might want to see in the future down in the comments down below. And if you like this transformation, make sure to press the like button, subscribe and ring the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload my next videos. If you want to check out more of me, go by my Instagram and Facebook at Julianne Hair. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys.